Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of So How About Them Leafs. Today it's episode 3. Tonight's episode, or today's, because I'm recording this during the day, the episode is about the Leafs Home at Home series against the Washington Capitals. So out of a possible 4 points, the Leafs got 2. So they went 1-1 one and one in the series, which was okay. Uh, so... As far as uh, the Leafs' status goes, uh, they remain five points of the playoffs as we head into the All-Star break where Thomas Caverly will be representing the Leafs uh, for the Eastern Conference All-Stars. And, of course, uh, the next, there's no game on Saturday. The All-Star game is on Sunday. The Leafs' next game is Tuesday in Toronto against the St. Louis Blues, who they only see once a year. And last time they played St. Louis was last year, and they won 2-1. to one. Now, comments about the game, both games. First game was a brilliant one. The Leafs were outplayed for sure, but Toskala held them in it, which is something you can't say about Raycroft. Um, Ponikarovsky is out for up to six weeks with a shoulder injury. And Sandin tied... Rocket Richard for most career goals, which puts him 24th overall in NHL history for most career goals. Second game, which was last night, Thursday, the Leafs were down one to nothing. Finally tied it up, and 34 seconds later, the Capitals score again to take the lead, and the score stood at two to one. That game, ironically, the Leafs played much better than the first game. But they lost, which is something we see a lot from the Leafs. They get a lot of shots on goal, but they just don't capitalize on the chances. One thing I've noticed is Brent Johnson, the goaltender for the Capitals last night, let out a lot of rebounds, and the Leafs did not capitalize on them. But any goaltender that they play against the Leafs had a lot of rebounds. They don't seem to dive, get their chances on the puck. They're just not in the proper position. So, yeah. That's about all I have to say. So the Leafs went 1-1 one, one and one in the series. And they play the Caps only one more time this year. And we will see what happens then. So until next time, go Leafs go. And prepare to uh, see some trades within the next couple weeks. Or in the next couple weeks. So go Leafs go.